Hey YouTube, it's Jake, or we are Uber, and I just wanted to say sorry for um, not being able to post a video for a while. I was gone in Washington DC at the National Youth Leadership Forum on National Security. I was really busy, couldn't make or post a video, and um, it was a really cool thing to be able to go to though. While I was there, I got to hear some really awesome speakers and go to some really cool memorials and museums, even though I'd already been to DC a couple times. Anyway, it was a fun trip. I just wanted to apologize for not entertaining you for the past six days and let you all see this quick, short documentary that I made while I was at the museum in DC. Um, anyway, I hope that you all like it and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! This past week I was in Washington DC with the National Youth Leadership Forum, but along the way I visited a lot of the nation's most iconic memorials and museums. Among these was the Newseum. It was probably one of my favorite museums and I'd never seen it before. It had news clips and pieces of video dating all the way back to the 1800s and it had captured almost all of the nation's history. There was a piece of the Berlin Wall that really was an entire guard tower, and I'd never seen anything like it before. They also had an extremely extensive library of Pulitzer Prize winning photographs, and a lot of them were really, really well capturing some of the nation's most iconic moments. A lot of the museum provoked a lot of emotion in me and the people there, especially the 9-11 museum that had a piece of the second tower. George Washington Bridge right now, lots of smoke coming from that direction. We're on our way to go check that out. I'm Brian McKinley in the Bloomberg 1130 Chopper. This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot. Apparently a plane has just crashed into the... Being around that just really brought me back to that day and everything from the news clippings to the pieces of the tower to the photographs made it really intense. I've just watched that video about 9-11 and um, to say the least it's really really uh, what kind of brings you back to that day it's really really it, it gets to you sad. Like I said a lot of the museum provoked emotions and was extremely intense but there were some funny parts too. I really liked the part about The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, and it was a good way to lighten the mood after seeing everything else I'd already seen. The museum was amazing, and maybe my new favorite museum. Needless to say, I exited through the gift shop.